2020, Swift Sport Katana Edition. Suzuki, has debuted a new special Katana Edition, of the Swift Sport at the Tokyo Auto Salon this year, paying tribute to their iconic, and recently revived Katana motorcycle. At the Tokyo Auto Salon 2020, which will be held from January 10 to 12, 2020, a radical custom model Katana Edition, based on the new Suzuki Swift Sport, will be launched by Suzuki officially, it became world premiere. This is not Suzuki's first Swift Sport Katana Edition, as the Japanese automaker, had revealed a limited production model last year exclusively for Holland, but this one dials it up a few notches, through a wide body kit with flared fenders. The new Swift Sport Katana Edition, features the same silver color with the bike, along with plenty of vibrant red and black detailing, including the roof, that further boosts the visual presence of the new body kit. First of all, from the front design. As a sword edition, it will be a collaboration model, with the two-wheel model, Katana, located next to it, but its radical design, and sharp edge silhouette are the sword itself. Speaking of which, we get a new front bumper, that matches the extra width of the flared fenders, the rear end gets, a similar treatment with a new bumper, that integrates a set of bigger tailpipes. The front grille, has a silver body, and sharpness, with glossy gloss black paint, and you can also see that the front bumper, is also transplanted for the sword edition. As a result, the front splitter has a red accent added to it, and I think it is a very radical, and sporty one. Seating underneath those sweet flares, are new wider alloys finished in black, with a red lip and shot in sticky Oklahoma tires a set of fatter side sills, along with a bigger roof wing, smoked lights all around, and a set of decals completes, the visual changes on the outside. The only thing that was a bit disappointing, was that the front fog lights, seemed a bit cheaper because they were halogen instead of LED. Not only how to extend the front fender, but also the external rear over fender is quite extreme, and because the underbody, is low down due to the installation, of a dedicated sports suspension, it was finished at a pretty good feeling low, I think it is surprising that Suzuki, is doing this officially again. The interior, gets a special gradient titanium trim on the dashboard, the door cards and the center console that is reminiscent of a heated muffler, along with red stitching on the seats, the steering wheel and the gear lever, a special plaque in front of the passenger, with the Katana logo is also present. The aluminum wheels, at the feet are also radical. Gloss black painted aluminum wheels, with red detail accents for a better overall harmony. It is good that the brake calipers, around the undercarriage, are also red to ensure consistency. Excellent compatibility with roof spoilers, with hidden red accents, and wide over fenders. Not only from the front, but also from the rear, the feeling of gorgeousness is transmitted so much. Muffler installed, dual exhaust system with one side, the wide and low style stands out. Suzuki did not mention, any powertrain upgrades, with the regular Swift Sport, motivated by a turbocharged 1.4-liter, booster jet 4-cylinder engine, producing 138 horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque, and paired to a 6-speed manual transmission. The bike-inspired Swift Sport, appears to be sitting on an upgraded suspension, while the wheels reveal more capable brakes as well. I think that Suzuki's wonderful point, is that it does not allow such a compromise, at all with a sense of unity. What do you think of new, Swift Sport Katana Edition? Let us know of your comments. 
please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, to our channel for more updates. Thank you very much, for watching.